we each have an average of 100 online accounts. Here's how to make sure they aren't a nightmare for your family if you die, when Rebecca Bistani's 40-year-old husband Paul died suddenly of a heart attack in November 2022, she didn't know what kind of assets he left behind for her and their infant daughter, compounding her heartache, Paul didn't leave a will. Bistani wanted to access key business and financial accounts by resetting passwords but found herself in a spot many who lose loved ones encounter, she couldn't get into his phone, leaving her locked out of everything from personal photos to critical estate information, her story is tragic and increasingly common. With password management company NordPass saying each person has an average of 100 online accounts. The deaths of loved ones have become ever more complicated, during already difficult grieving times, figuring out how to get into, maintain or shut down accounts can range from the personally difficult to financially necessary. And while digital legacy planning can ease some of that burden, ex 